Uh, what do we mean by equal functions? So if you are uh, dealing with two functions so f and g, it simply means that f of x is equal to g of x, which means that the domain of the function f, that's domain of f, uh, is equal to the domain of the function g, that is domain of g, which nat naturally means that the code domain of uh, f should be equal to the code domain of g. Now let us look at the idea in a slightly different manner. Uh, uh, now we know that the common representation of a of a uh, function is uh, f of x is equal to y. That is, uh, x is the input and y is the output. So, uh, what what is the basic meaning of uh, meaning if we say that uh, f of x is equal to g of x? It simply means that uh, this box represents the input that is the uh, all probable inputs. That if I say that uh, inputs can range from x1, x2, like that to x alpha, so all probable inputs. Now, the inputs values are the same for both the functions, uh, for f of the function f and for function g. Of course, uh, naturally, the input values are the same, but the interesting point comes uh, when we deal with the process means the algebraic expression, that is, uh, what we do with x, that is. So, uh, the key part is that uh, the process uh, Uh, it's the second process, process one and process two, which uh, gives once again the same output. <coughs> uh, if uh, the probable inputs are x1, 2, x alpha, so and that naturally means that the probable output should be uh, <coughs> y1 to y alpha. But, but uh, as I already stated, the, the key point is that. Uh, the process or uh, what we do with the input value is different for the function. So this is the process for f of x and this is the process for g of x. Uh, now this may seem a little confusing. Let us look at certain examples to uh, clear the point. Uh, a function f of x uh, which is x plus 2 the whole squared and uh, g of x which is given by x squared plus 4x plus 4. Let us uh, input the simple value that is uh, x is equal to 1 that is uh, 1 plus 2 the whole squared that is 3 squared is equal to 9. In the other case again x is equal to 1 the input value is 1 so it will be, be on squared plus 4 times 1 plus 4 that is of course, 1 plus 8 that is 9. So you can see that for a function uh, f of x, uh, I mean the process of uh, dealing with the element x in the function f of x, so uh, the input uh, value that was that is x was 1, the output value that was uh, y was 9. Once again, here also it's the same case, the input was 1. The output was 9. But we know that the process actually was different. Uh, that is, uh, uh, the process in the first case, we just squared the input value, and in the second case, uh, uh, it was a more, <coughs> more uh, there was a multiple, pro I mean, uh, there was uh, multiple steps in the process. So, uh, it, it, in a manner, the process of uh, uh, f of x was not equal to the process of uh, g of x. Of course, I am sure that most of you uh, understood that uh, on the face of it, uh, even though they are different, uh, in a manner they are same because the expression uh, of g of x, uh, that is x squared plus 4 plus 4 is, uh, uh, is simply the expansion of x plus 2 the whole squared. So nothing, there was nothing uh, tough about it. Now let us look at another case of uh, uh, f uh, um, 
suppose uh, we are dealing with the case that is uh, uh, f of x is equal to s square that is a squared function and uh, uh, d of x is equal to the absolute value of x squared. Uh, now, what if the uh, input is 2 minus 2 then of course it's minus 2 square that is so uh, uh, minus 2 square that is 4 what if uh, here again the same input uh, now we know that uh, the absolute value of uh, minus 2 uh, is 2 because uh, uh, when we are looking at absolute values this uh, sign is not present because that we are looking at the actual distance in the uh, the number line so it simply means that uh, the absolute value of minus 2 squared would naturally be 4. So uh, once again the input and the output values are same but uh, we know that uh, x squared is uh, theoretically not uh, uh, not equal to the absolute value of x squared. Now let us look at uh, uh, another function that is f of x is equal to x cubed by x and g of x is equal to x squared. Now, uh, you, may, you may just uh, feel like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this is equal to x squared, uh, x squared into x by x, so cancel out x and so is equal to x squared. So you'll be getting the feeling that once again, we are dealing with same cases, but uh, very little, there's something interesting coming up. So uh, if x is equal to 2 naturally, uh, if x is equal to 2 naturally, we'll be dealing with uh, cube cubed by 2 that is uh, 8 by 2 that is 4 here it naturally uh, x is equal to 2 uh, it will be uh, 2 square that is again 4 again the input and output values are same uh, but uh, very little are we dealing with the same what if uh, the x input is 0 it will be f f of 0 would be 0 cubed by 0 and uh, g of 0 would be 0 squared, which is straightforward is 0. What, 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 what about uh, 0 cubed by 0? And the point is that uh, division by 0 is undefined. So this is the problem. So this is the problem and uh, because of that it simply means that f of x is not equal to g of x. Now you may state that okay uh, just omit 0 and uh, let, let us get on with the other case, but that, that's not the case for all all input elements. For all of x, so you should be getting the same output, and that's the, that's the point. So, so what is the conclusion? The conclusion is that uh, f of x is equal to g of x for every x belonging to the common domain. That's the, that's the common that's the general meaning to the equal functions. Thank you.